Disclaimer. This video's information is being provided for informational, educational, and general interest purposes only. The information in this video is not intended to shock, enrage, or otherwise provoke the viewer. The sole purpose of this video was to raise awareness of true crime-related events. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Three people, including the boy's father, were sentenced in the death of 10-year-old Dakota Collins on September 30, 2021. Al-Mutahan McLean, 32, was given a 51-year-to-life sentence in prison on Wednesday morning after being found guilty of abusing and torturing Takoda before his death in 2019. He was informed of his fate when he appeared before Montgomery County Common Police Judge Dennis Adkins. Before being eligible for parole, he had to serve between 40 and 51 years in prison. The minimum sentence for Amanda Hinsey, 30, was 22 years in prison. Jennifer Ebert, her sister, received an eight-year prison term. The two women shared a house with McLean and Takoda. Takoda allegedly endured horrific living conditions, including beatings and being made to endure hours-long punishment poses while on his feet. Prosecutors claimed that if he didn't maintain the pose, he would be physically punished. They claimed Takoda, a student at Horace Mann Elementary before his father took him out of class, had experienced severe abuse. Takoda's death was ruled a homicide by the Montgomery County Coroner's Office, who determined that he passed away from a combination of blunt force trauma, compressive asphyxia, and drowning in a bathtub of water. Prosecutors claimed in a sentencing memo submitted prior to the hearing that Takoda was punched, elbowed, and stood on in the hours before his death. The memorandum reads, Defendant McLean threw the child around some more, grabbed him by the ears, and dragged him down the steps, still not satisfied that Takoda was sufficiently compliant. When Takoda failed to clean his shorts quickly enough again, the defendant took him into the bathroom and warned him that he would drown if he did not hurry up. Defendant Jennifer Ebert then heard splashing and Takoda gasping for air from the living room. In their memorandum, the defense claimed that although McLean admitted guilt in the death of his son, he had not abused the boy in years. The statement in the document reads, Al, without reservation accepts that his actions caused the death of his son. He neither excuses himself nor assigns blame to anyone else. However, he expresses worry about the stories that are being told about him by others that either demonize him based on a false history or recreate their own false history of involvement with his son. The memo notes that Takoda was exceptionally intelligent. He was a voracious reader and a great artist. He would tell his father information that Al was unaware of. Together, the two would rap, and Takoda was the best at coming up with or finishing lyrics. Despite all of their issues, flaws, and misguided bad behavior, they were still a family. This is tragic for the entire Takoda family, including his father, as well as for Takoda alone. Okay. All right. Jennifer, you can come back and have a seat right there. Have a seat where you're at or?
Don't kill her. I'm... Don't kill her. She can be... Well, she can be... Well, she can be... So I just go on. I don't change my mind. Don't go down. Okay. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. Tell me, tell me what's what is it? Well, I moved down here three years ago, okay. and well, well, I really moved down here because I had to take care of the boys. And that was the whole deal that I take care of the house and the boys and he would buy my dog dog food or whatever, clean the house and do all that. So um uh, okay. Okay. Hey, okay, let me take a breath. And then Hey Jennifer. I'm sorry, just really quick. I just wanna remind you of the paper that we went over to make sure that you remember everything we went over before. Yeah, I, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tell everything. I guess I'll turn over the house and I thought because I'm not going down for this no more. Okay. They always said if everything, anything happens, we're all going down. Well, I'm not going down as much as I thought. I'm become tired. Somebody told you you all were going down for it? Who? Amanda. Amanda told you you all were going to go down for it? Okay. So, let's, you moved down here three years ago to watch the boys, okay? The understanding was they're going to buy dog food for your dog and obviously yeah. take care of you, yeah, right? Yeah, take care of me and my dog. But, um, oh, I can't do this. Can you give me a second? Just yeah. Take your time. But he was in that room and downstairs and then he was misbehaving because he was pooping everywhere. He could choose the bathroom any time, whatever, you know, like a normal child. But he would refuse to use the bathroom and use it on himself every night and everything. And so then he started, first he started spanking him, doing, putting him in the corner, and it escalated from there. And then he moved him to the basement and that spare room that we got down there. And then he kept on doing the same thing. But and stuff like that, and then he would start doing a little more punching him and just kicking him and stuff like that. And then, and then he moved him to where I was because I was still upstairs at the time. And then he would still do the same thing. And then he would start still punching him, kicking him, elbowing him in the gut, smacking him across the head and everything. And then he recently started using a taser on him. And then he would, then we got this metal spatula down or whatever that he used to beat him with it. And then this morning, he, I called him down for breakfast. He wouldn't come. He, I called him down, kept on calling him down. Finally, he came down, and then I woke up Al, and he was sitting, thought I was sitting on the toilet, and he elbowed him in the back, and then he fell to the floor, and Take your time. Started on him, and then he turned in the bathtub, and it sounded like he was drowning him. 
So he was talk- talking to him and telling him he was going to drown him. And it sounded like that because all I heard was splashing because he wouldn't clean his shorts because he came down wet over this morning. And he took him back upstairs and threw him out. Then he made him lay on his dumbass hands behind the back and he stepped on him. And then he made him lay in the bed and he was laying on his side and then he was at the back of him. I don't know if he was doing that there, I couldn't see. And then, and then he threw him back off the bed, drug him a little bit up from and then, I know, <laughs> I was going on for 30 years, I should have done something, even longer, since he was little. That's the first cast I'm going to listen. But all I know is that Amanda never laid any hands on him. I mean, she would spank him and just tell him not to do things, tell him to do things, but he would never listen. So we both told Al that he, that he wouldn't listen, and then Al would go be on it. When you said he tased him, he had like a physical taser or like a... Yeah, a little pink one. A little pink taser. And then there's a metal spatula that he used to hit him with. You said that he had him on, he was behind him today, right? Were Dakota's hands tied or? Okay. Did you see, was he? I don't know what was was going on. I was in the middle of reading and watching Joe while he was playing. So I wasn't really doing much paying attention to what was going on. What was Dakota doing? Was he crying, screaming? Not at first. Well, at first he was, but when I was over, he was quiet. And then when they woke up about 1 o'clock, because he went back to bed around 10, and then they woke up, and and then they laid on the couch, and I went back to bed for a while because I was tired and then I got woken up by Amanda crying and freaking out and then we that's when we left because Dakota wasn't breathing There was part of like a stool or something. What was going on with that? He would make him sit on it with his legs wide open because I don't know the whole reason. He yeah. would sit on it when it was part of the chair? Or yeah, when it was all the way together. Because he wouldn't stand still with his legs crossed, hands behind his head. He just, and then he brought that home one day and made him sit on it. Like with the legs up? No, he was sat on the top of it. Did you see Al with this, like one of the legs today? He hid it behind the dresser in the living room. A part of it, and then the other one was in the sink in the bathroom. What was he doing with it? But Dad, I don't know how I can tell you that one. I don't know what he was doing with that. Okay. So, you said that, like, after this was going on, he went back to bed. Who went back to bed? Al. Because he made... Because he made Toto go back to bed, um, lay back on his bed and not make a word or sound and then I just figured he was sleeping the way he was just (laughs) 
What bed was he laying on? That's a cat. A cat. Looking thing. I don't know what they did with that. Where was where was that at? It was all upstairs. A cat thing? Yeah, like a big green cat. Cot. Yeah, like a bed. Like yeah. Oh, cot. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So. <laughs> Wisconsin coming out, then, yeah. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I just wasn't following. Okay, so the cot, um, it was green. Yeah. Okay, so once um, Amanda obviously was upset, and then you guys left and went to the store. Okay. And Al stayed there. Yeah, because I'm not, cause right after we left, he called the cop. She told him to call. So I wasn't breathing or making funny noises or whatever. I was half asleep when we left it and know what was going on. So I was just, I left with no sweater and no shoes or anything. I just picked up Joe and we left. Did you go to those three places that she told us she went to? Yes. Do you know what she wanted to talk to her friend at Walgreens about? I think just to get advice about what to do, but she didn't. All her friend said was don't run because I'd look bad. Because she didn't tell her exactly what was going on. So, you know, that's what I heard, but. so that's when you guys kind of went back home? And we drove around the neighborhood a little bit to see what was going on, if she got the cops were still there. And then finally she just gave up and went home. So the, the, the leg to the stool, you know what I'm talking about? You never saw him use that on Josiah? No, I didn't, no. Never got that child never got beat or anything, just got some spankings when you won't listen, but... I didn't mean just I'm sorry, I meant Dakota. Oh. I'm sorry. It's fine, but I was just said, yeah. yeah. But no, that's one thing I know that was in the news. He usually, you know, just use that spatula, his fists, his feet, or everything that... There's anything that he could see. Did he, like, drag him up or down the steps or anything like that? I know this morning he was wobbling like crazy when he was coming down the stairs. So I told him, I didn't know what was going on. I told him to walk look normal, you know. And so then he was walking, like rubbing up on things. And I woke up Al, so that's why I said Al got in the head, so I was beating on him. But, um, he I'm not 100% sure I'm, he was having troubles walking, so I know I think I've seen him on the camera grabbing his ear and dragging him, but I don't 100% sure on that one. On the camera? Yeah. So there was a camera on the camera upstairs? Yeah. They kept a camera up there, but while he was in the attic? Yeah. To watch him. Is that stuff recorded? What is it live? So you can only watch why it's going on, and that's how you saw him stand on him and put him on his stomach and all that. Okay. So he did pretty much stay up in the attic, though. Did he get locked in that room a lot? Yes? The only time he came down was just the little bathroom. Good. And shower once in a while. I just feel better. 
missed you by honey. No, you said I would feel better, but I thought I feel worse. You will on the long run. Hang on right there. Be right back. Okay, sorry, honey. It looks like he had like something carved in him. Did he like ever cut him with something? Not that I know of no. Okay. Um and at, at any point did you know of him to harm himself? Dakota? Yeah. Well, I know he did jump out a window from up there. But that's the only thing you know of? As far as I know of, yeah. Okay. Had um, you ever heard any rumors about him sexually assaulting, Al sexually assaulting him? He will not do that. Mm. No. No. That, um, I don't know about that one. Why was he so, why was he that way with him? Like, I mean, I can see that there's no pictures in there. You know, there's no pictures, no nothing. Like, he just didn't even exist. I don't know. You don't know. Did he ever threaten you? Did Al ever threaten you? Mm-hmm. 
So let me ask you, why did you never call the police or anything about it? I don't know really. I wanted to steal me his arms. But then he would just tell us to make a team come up with some stupid story when, when, um, if we ever did, he would just say, oh, I'll just say this and that, and I don't know, he was just... He just make excuses. I mean, does he drink? Is it when he drinks, or is he just an angry person? Both. Does it get worse if he drinks? Oh, I know. Really? Does he drink a lot? Really? Is that what he does all day? He would usually go out when about, I'd say about 2, 3 in the afternoon, sometimes 4, and I'll come home about 2, 3 in the morning. Does he ever abuse your sister? He used to when they lived in Wisconsin, but now he just throws things at the floor and punches walls. Or takes it out on Dakota. That too. So Dakota pees the bed, is that kind of what, what his the problem is with him? Yeah, but really, and like, oh my, he, I noticed last maybe week or so he didn't go poop in the pups. I'm told to watch him because he likes to rub poop everywhere. So I kind of just peek in and see what he's doing. You know, not trying to gross or anything, but and then I noticed that he doesn't poop in the toilet. And so I told Al about that. So he asked him, and I guess one night he was pooping upstairs and he ate it. So I. I don't know what was to deal with all that. Like he would have gotten in trouble if he had if there was, with it? Yeah, he would be. So he ate it? Yeah. How do you know he ate it? You saw him? I guess that's what they said. What he said. What Dakota said, I should say. Like Dakota he eats he it. it. Yeah. Because one day he was skinny, I should say. And then the next day his stomach was fat. Like, I didn't know what was going on, I just thought that he just gained weight overnight, just, you know. <laughs> so, I guess I could have got him food, really good food, so. Did he actually eat, though? Like, yeah, because there was no, what's that? Did he come down and eat with you guys? No, we gave him some bowls and a bowl and sent out upstairs. You had to stay upstairs and eat? Yeah. What did he eat? No, he... Usually what we eat, like pizza and macaroni and cheese and everything, like, but, you know, so this morning I gave him bagels and peanut butter. Yeah, and usually, and then lately I've been just giving him, everything that Joe eats is what I give him. He's just really thin. Doesn't he seem kind of thin to you? Yeah. Why is he so thin? I don't know. I feed him three times a day, sometimes four. Does he eat, or does he just he does. give him food? Yeah, he eats it. Are you giving him, like, smaller portions, or are you giving him, like, portions you give to Josiah? No, I gave him a full bowl full, like, a lot of food. So I don't know what's all going on with that. Are you the one responsible for feeding him for all the meals? Yeah. Okay. So when you go up and feed him, is he back in that locked area then? No, he's just, when you just go upstairs, he's right next to the railing. Okay. So he was in that area. Was the other area locked off, or? Yeah, because that's the window he, in the area. He was in there before, but that's when he jumped out the window, and plus the ceiling was all falling down and everything. You gotta get that fixed. That's where he jumped out the window up there? Yeah, that's why it's boarded up up there. And that's probably because he was being kept up there? Yeah, that too. Huh. Okay. So, I, I know that I kind of missed part, so I just want to make sure that I understand everything, and I apologize if I'm repeating stuff. But So Al got pissed off this morning because 
um, Dakota woke him up by walking into things. Well, yeah, you know, falling down into the bathroom door and all of that. Too. Okay. So did did Dakota take a beating last night? Is that why he was so disoriented today? He could have, but I went to bed early because I had to get up early. So I'm usually up about, I would say, about quarter to seven to the boys. Blaze, I'm sorry. Did that to, to the boys, okay. To the boys, okay. The boys, okay. Yeah, to the boys, they care of them, and then go outside, take care of the dogs. I just put on a handle. Yes, ma'am, that's what you do. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to quit. Yeah, just okay. basically do everything well. You go to someone drinks, and she works. Okay. So you don't have PDAT? No, because I sleep with headphones on and a uh, face mask, whatever, up in me. Do you do that so you don't hear the screaming? Yes. Um, it's just peaceful because I don't have a fan on that thing. So my door closed. I just don't hear anything. Really. Okay. See, so it's fair to say maybe he did, maybe he didn't last night. Right. Okay. But he did beat on every day. Pretty much. Okay. It's unusual when you don't. Okay. And um, you did you ever try to take him to the doctor, or get him medical help, or anything? No. Can you explain that to me a little bit? I don't know how to... Yeah, I tried, but he would come up with an excuse saying Dakota is crazy and he does self-harm and everything, so he just comes up with an excuse that it's all sports so. Okay. So, um, and one of the pictures, it looks like there was like a T like carved into his side. Did we talk about that? Yeah, she doesn't really know anything about how that happened. Um, so he was coming down this morning. Does he normally come down in the morning to use the bathroom? Yeah, I got him down when, about six times a day. And then done the 11 o'clock at night is when I usually go to bed. The last night. So basically, he goes up there and then he's locked up there, right? Unless he's let out. Yeah. And so, Amanda knew that he wasn't breathing when you guys left today. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, I guess. Okay. That's why she. Yeah. That's why she told her to call the cops. Okay. Does her cell phone have a passcode on it? Yeah, but I don't know what it is. Do they keep the phones from you? Yeah, I'm not allowed to have a phone. The internet or phone or whatever. Why is that? You're a grown-ass woman. <laughs> right. Because apparently I tell too many secrets. <laughs> is that what they say? So much, but I can't keep my mouth shut. So you don't let you talk to anybody? And that's why you haven't talked to your mom? Not do you know your mom's phone number? No. Hey, I have a question. There was like a dog leash or something hanging in the living room. Oh, that's Joe's toy. Because he um, has a box exit. Uh-huh. And we hang, hang it from the and he likes to punch on it. And that's why that's so We took it down, but I guess we forgot to take the leash down. Um, is there any reason at all that the Josiah would be considered a missing person? No. No. Al didn't take him? No. His mom gave him to him. Because apparently she used to crutch it. Are you for sure about that or is that just That's what, what you've been they told? That's what they all been told. Because yeah. you weren't around when that happened, were you? Yeah, it came down three years ago. And he is three years old? Yeah. And we had him a couple of years now or so. But he was a baby baby, right? Probably a year and a half, maybe. When you got him? When they got him? Yeah. So, were you here when they got him? Or did you come after? No, I was here. Okay. Did, how, did, how did that go down? I... I don't know the full story on that one. I mean, she kept a lot from me about that one. So, okay. so I'll just be honest. I mean, he Dakota had some pretty bad 
injuries to his anus area. I don't know nothing about that one. I'm <laughs> well, just yeah. heard of that now. <laughs> When he's telling him to bend over and cross yeah. his legs, what do you think he was doing? I don't... Yeah, I don't know about that one, but I know he would always throw hot sauce on his butt and then he yeah, like that. And, and Tom and stuff like that. You said what? I'm sorry. <laughs> like I'm sitting hot sauce and salt and everything. And yeah. He would go because Toto would be laying on the floor. His backside would be to the railing area and then Al would go upstairs and just like dump the hot sauce all over him on the floor or something. I can burn his what he says. Did Amanda ever do anything to stop this? No. Explain to me Amanda's part and what when this is going on. Half time, and I'll be at work lately when he does it. I do it as soon as she walks out the door. But before, when she was there, I mean, I, it's evident that she was aware that it was going on. Yeah. And she, she told him to stop. She, she's been telling him to stop because he's been taking too, had too much going on with his body and just let him do what he wants and stuff like that. I don't know that for sure. But, yeah. Did she ever try and stop Al? None of us have. Why not? I would only let, I don't know, I, I don't know. I mean, these are just questions that I have to ask. I know, I know that there's, I mean, was there a fear factor or? For me, I know it was. I'm terrified of him. <laughs> he gets angry too easy. What happened to your wrist, hon? Did you do that? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I saw done it. So I was in like sixth grade. But you didn't know Dakota to ever self harm? Mm -hmm. No. Doesn't really seem like he had anything he could self harm with. I mean, he was washed up in that attic most of the time. There was a hole in the drywall, and it looked like something had been scratching it up there. No, <laughs> yeah, we. Had a dog up there for a while. Okay, so the dog did that? Yeah. Give us a minute. Do you need anything? Okay. Give us just a minute. Um. Okay, 
hang out here. You doing okay? This water's not open. You want some more water?
Jennifer? Yes. Where are you going tonight? Are you going back home? No. Do you want to go to a shelter? No, I'm not going back home. Do you have a key? Yeah, I'm not going to Okay. So you want the keys from Amanda? I don't know how I'm going to get there. I can't drive. We'll make sure you get there. We'll get you there. <laughs> we got that taken care of. Um, after, sorry, go ahead. After today, after tonight, what are your plans? Are you staying here? Or are you going back to Wisconsin? Hoping to go back home. Back home? Where is home? I mean, I know Wisconsin's home, but do you have an address? No, it's on my head, no. Are you, um, how will we stay in touch with you? Because I don't know. Will you stay in touch with us? Yeah. Do you know your mom's phone number? It's on Amanda's phone. That's right, I asked you that earlier. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do you have any siblings or anything that you know their numbers that we could get in touch with you through? The only way to get a hold of them is through Facebook. Do you have a Facebook account? How long ago did Khalil leave? A couple of oh. A few years back, I think shortly after I got yeah. Okay. Do you have a Facebook account? Yeah. Who are, what's your name on Facebook? Um, it's... Shit. I can't remember. I'm just so stressed out. <laughs> Here, um, put on paper, maybe I can remember if I write things down, please. Okay. Yep, you're fine. Yep. Yeah. The best one to contact is my brother, James, and so then he can wake up. Mom, she's not asleep anymore. If you could try again, hold him, you have to call him. So... That's my account because this is not a password, so crap, I don't know whether you're graduating, right? <laughs> <laughs> or I don't know which one it would be, so there. Okay, so it's Jenny underscore your last name underscore twelve at hotmail dot com and then class of twenty twelve or class of twelve. Yeah. And you're giving us permission to get into your Facebook to contact your family. Yeah. Okay. What's your Facebook name though? Um, just my name, Jennifer Ebert. But Jennifer Ebert. yeah, and it has a picture of my dog. So, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what's gonna happen with my dog? You know, it's not important, but I'd like to no, know. It's important. We know it's important to you. We're going to take you back to your house, um, the house in Kensington. Yeah. But, um, I mean, from there, I guess we can attempt to contact your family. You don't have any phones or any way to contact people? There's no house phone or anything there? Well, I do, I do got a cell phone, but they took the internet away from me, so... I don't know what the internet password is. <laughs> what did you do to get in trouble? I told a friend that I was going to run away because I was getting tired of everything that was going on. What friend? I don't remember. Do you have any friends around here? Not around here, no. So, somebody from Wisconsin? Yeah. Do you get, do you, your face looks bruised to me. Is it bruised? In the cheeks? No, it's just like your head.
And all the girls is probably from the dog to your house. Because one day I was his, her balls under the couch and I was bent over to get her and I was her head and I was under the mind, so mm -hmm. and I hurt like hell. Since that dog is mean, is she going to get put down? What dog? Your dog? The white one. I got to. She's mean? Like mean to people? As far as I know, yeah. Why? Has she been abused too? No. No. Because when the, her and her, because we got like three puppies from the same litter, and she got jealous because at home was spending too much time with his dog, and so she became her mean one and off of the group. <laughs> she became jealous, I guess. <laughs> Because he wouldn't take her out, and then when she got run over by the neighbor, when Alice dog got run over by the neighbor, she became aggressive towards strangers. Hmm. I do want that dog mainly back. I don't care about this, I just want the dog back. You can contact the animal shelter. Yeah, if you can. I'm going to make sure you have my contact information too, okay? okay. And we can figure out how to work through a lot of this stuff. Also at five, for the first time, we're learning more about the early life of Dakota Collins, that 10-year-old Dayton boy who died in December. A Wisconsin woman who cared for Dakota after he was born explains how the boy's estranged father eventually managed to get custody. And Tudor's reporter Adam Rife live in the newsroom with more on that very important conversation. It's new here on 5 on 2. Anita Bredesen is a family friend of Dakota's biological mother, Robin. When Dakota was born and Robin was unable to care for him, Anita and her fiance took the baby into their home, even working to adopt him. He was a happy baby. He was a happy infant. For 11 months, Anita Bredesen and her fiance raised newborn Dakota Collins as his mother came by often to check on him. But when he was 11 months old, Anita says the mother's boyfriend at the time spanked the child hard enough to trigger an investigation from Children's Services. They say for several years, Dakota lived with three different foster families as a result. Al Mutahan McLean, Dakota's biological father who's in custody now in connection with the death, was not around. He never called. He never saw Dakota until he got with, I, I suppose, human services or child support would have gotten a hold of him. Anita says McLean came for him out of the blue one day. He came to Wisconsin and did a DNA test and he was Dakota's father. So they took Dakota from my fiance and gave him to a complete stranger. She says her fiance was in the process of formally adopting Dakota, but the last they saw him was at his fourth birthday party. From 11 months from when he was abused to the time they gave him to Al, his dad. Brian was trying to get custody the whole time. Anita learned of Dakota's death the day after it was announced in December. She says she didn't believe it at first, then was angry. Now she's just sad. People need to know that Dakota was very, very loved. He never wanted for anything. He was a happy child. Even when he was in foster care, Al Mutahan McLean is still in jail on child endangering charges awaiting his next court date. More charges could be filed once the coroner's final autopsy report is completed. In the newsroom, Adam Rye, 5 on 2. Okay, this is the second part because you haven't met him yet. You know me, Detective Sloss. Um, we had. The first day you ran, I'm going to be your rights. You remember that? Mm, yeah. You have the right to remain silent, all of that. Yeah. Okay, um, just to let you know, obviously you came in here with Amanda today. You are still free to leave, okay? Um, at any time, that holds true. But I wanted to ask you a couple questions about things that I came across, okay? Um, and verify that this is Dakota and not somebody else. 
Were you here when he was in that room that's now Josiah's? Yeah. Okay. Is that the room that he was in? Yeah. Is that going to be him? Or is that his older brother? That's him, yeah. That's Dakota? Yeah. Okay. And then this is in the basement. Is that yeah. where Dakota slept in the basement? Yeah. Is that like the back room where the straw and stuff was? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then this one here. Is that Dakota? Yeah. And that is the position that he would have to stay in that you showed me? Yeah. Okay. And this is obviously up in the attic. It's not an attic. It's an upstairs. I would not ever sleep in an attic. Attics are scary. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an upstairs. Okay. Well, the upstairs yeah. attic area. And obviously it's dark in there. Yeah. He um, does have a light up there. He's just... The light didn't work when we were there. I know that. This, I think, is him with the shorts on his head. Yeah. Doing that same... Is that what that is? Yeah. Him bending over with the shorts on his head because he wasn't supposed to wear them? Yeah. Okay. Um... Same picture, it looks like, or one similar with him with his shorts on his head bent over with his arms on the floor. And then um, this is him, obviously, up in the attic, too, but he had shorts on there. Yeah. And that looks like that was maybe June of this year. That's Dakota, though, right? Yeah. Okay. And there's a better picture of it. And he's still doing that stance where he's bent over with his hands. And then this one, it looks like, I don't know what he's doing. If he's, he's cleaning up the floor. Oh, uh, he's cleaning up the yeah, floor. Yeah, that's what that gray bucket was always for. It was for him to for scrub. Cleaning. Yep. Okay. And this window is boarded up. I'm guessing that some light came in from that area. During yeah, the there day. was a little light that came up, but that light bulb does work. Like okay. Well, it wasn't working when we were out there. I don't know why not, but I know it always worked. So there's always been the same light bulb that's been up there. Because the light switch is on the bottom of the stairs, not the top. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Well, that's kind of the main thing. This one here, um, were you there when Khalil was there? A little bit. I was off on with, like, always off on, on with my dog. I was never really around. around much. Yeah. Okay. But they shared a room at one point? Yeah. It looks like his hands are behind his back. Yeah, because Dakota always, I don't know how to describe it, he was always standing on the table, dancing around, doing everything. He would actually strip for Khalil, too. If you ask Khalil, I'm pretty sure he'll tell you that, because even Dakota even admitted it, that he would do a little strip dance on the table. Well, there was no bedding on this bed. Was that Khalil's bed? Yeah, because I know he always peed himself, too. Like, I don't know why they always did it, but they just... Well, when they would be in this room when it was nighttime, was it locked? Only at nighttime when everybody goes to bed because it's just safer that way. Okay, to lock them in? Yeah. Okay, and I guess at this point, were you upstairs then? In the, is that where you lived in the upstairs or did you yeah, have the I, back room? Yeah, I had that back. No, I was upstairs at this time. Okay. Okay. Um, is there anything else you think we should know? Did anything else come up? Not really. Just, I know Dakota pretty much did this, man, like, he didn't do it manly to himself, but he always, like, because Al doesn't abuse him. He just disciplined him. He just, like, used a spatula to spank his hands and his butt. But when I told you that he stomped on him that day, um, I didn't. Okay, let me, let, me, let me stop you real quick. I know that Amanda is manipulating no, you. She yes. not, no, yes, she, she is not. No, she is not. No, she's not. I'm um, telling you, Reed's telling you what is going on. Why would Amanda tell me things to say? Because your it's story has right. consistently changed every yeah, time. Yeah, it could, but I could remember some stuff, too. Jennifer drove out to get caught, saw caught in a trick bag. We had in jail calls. We had conversations between Al and Amanda where they're telling you that you're a dog and that you need to get that dog to shut the fuck up. Yeah, if that barking. dog talks... That dog's gonna get fucking pounded. All right, we have jail calls. So all you're doing right now is you're lying for two individuals that physically abused a child for years. That's what's happening. And right I now. think she probably still mentally abuses you, and I'm not okay with it. Okay. 
What can we do to help you, Jennifer? I know she's your sister, but she is not a good person. Have you been in touch with your mom at all? Do you have a way to get in touch with your mom? I mean, does your mom know what's going on? I don't know. Are you upset because you're scared? Are you upset because she's been mean? Are you upset because we're telling you this? What, what, why are you so upset? Did she tell you these things before we no. did? Is she threatening to take your dogs? Are both the other dogs yours? No, I just got one. What are the dogs' names? We got Nico, Sheba, and Champ. And then we got Maya in the house. Okay. Do any of them bark a lot? Yeah, they bark. Okay. I'm going to kind of, I think maybe we'll have her go a different direction or something. I don't want her passing. Do you feel safe at that house right now? Yeah. Legit? Do you really feel safe? Yeah. It doesn't seem like it right now. Um, Is it emotional where you feel like things can change on an emotional level? Huh? Like losing your doll? Is that a concern? Did she try to take you out of the house and just leave you stranded? That's kind of what it seems like. Oh, no. Do you have any relationship with your mom? Yeah. Like, is it a good relationship? Is it a bad relationship? Mm. That's all right. I just, since I moved down here, I just never really talked to my family, I guess. Why not? I don't know. I just, I don't know. Because Amanda's been in contact with your mom. Amanda's been talking to your mom since this incident. And I know I saw something on her phone records about um, you pulling a knife on Al. Yeah, that was a total misunderstanding. Well, but in there she said something about you were upset uh, because he got mad at you because you didn't wake Dakota up or something like that. Did he get angry at you for not doing what you were supposed to in his mind? Yeah, because if I don't do anything right, he yells at me, I guess. If you don't do what his rules are? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I know before you said that you were scared of him. I don't, I don't understand the fact that Amanda has tried to make what he did normal, because none of that was normal, okay? And I hope that, I believe you know that's not normal, to like lessen what he was doing, because it's not. And I don't want you to think that that is normal because they were okay with it, because I know from us talking and how upset you've been that you know it's not okay, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Had they threatened you in the past to kick you out? No. Did they ever give you punishment like you were their child? I mean, as far as taking things away or telling you to go to your room or anything like that? No. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to get you out of here. I basically just wanted to go over those pictures and see that you recognize them and recognize that area as far as being Dakota. 
um, to make sure that was him and not somebody else. Um, are you doing okay? Yeah. Also tonight, we have new audio connected to the death investigation of a 10-year-old Dayton boy. Back in May, a woman saying she was Dakota Collins' mother called Montgomery County Regional Dispatch fearing her son was being abused. News reporter Adam Reif is live in the newsroom with that new information.
In this call, Robin Collins says she had not spoken with her 10 year old son in four years until just a few days prior. She tells the dispatcher she thought Dakota was living with his father, Al Mutahan McLean in Erie, Pennsylvania. Only a legal issue put him back on her radar. I believe that his father is abusing him and hurting him and that he's too scared to tell anybody because his father won't let him talk to anybody. May 14th, 2019, almost seven months later to the day, 10-year-old Dakota Collins is found unresponsive in a Dayton home on Kensington Drive and later pronounced dead. A woman identifying herself as Dakota's mother calling Dayton emergency responders, asking for officers to perform a wellness check. I've been trying to work with him to talk to my son and he gave me um, a bunch of things that are very concerning. He locked him in a locked him in his room. He tried to jump out a window. He sent him to school in a diaper. He pulled him out of school. He whips him with a belt. Just a bunch of stuff that's very concerning to me. The woman says Al Mutahan McLean has sole custody of the child, but that she was supposed to see him four times a year and speak with him on the phone once a week. But she says she hadn't seen him or heard from him in four years until two days prior. She explains what she heard on that phone call. Telling him how angry he is with him and how if I don't come and get him, something's going to happen and he's going to take him to a group home and drop him off and how um, when he acts up, how he disciplines him with a belt and he'll lock him in the room. An incident report from regional dispatch showing two officers visited the home a short time later. The report states, quote, Dakota is being taken care of. Al, the father, appears to be taken care of his needs with no concerns. Several calls and messages for that woman have gone unanswered today. Al Mutahan McLean, Amanda Hinsey, and Jennifer Ebert were all arraigned in court today. All pleaded not guilty to child endangering charges. All will appear again in court on January 15th. In the newsroom, Adam Rye, 5 on 2. Um, Jennifer, I'll come in here with us. I remember her from the other day, right? Okay. We won't have you. Very long. Um, her Has anything happened since you left here? No. Okay, everything's okay. I didn't know how, you know, how things would be with Amanda after she left. Is everything okay there? Yeah. Okay. It's probably a little bit peaceful since some regards not having out there. I'm not sure. Okay. Has he tried to call at all? No. Okay. Um, and have you been in touch with your mom since? No, I haven't talked to her. Okay. Amanda has though, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and we were just, the big thing for us is we're trying to get time frames. Um, you moved here in 2016, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, and when you moved here, um, where was your room? At uh, first, it was upstairs. In the attic? Yep. Okay. Um, and then, where was, what changed? Well, he was in that one room off the bathroom area when I moved down, when we or whatever, and then he just stunk up the whole downstairs. So he, that's when he, they moved him off the dining room area. And that one room that I'm at now. In the back. Yeah. Okay. Next, they moved him back there. And then the, I just started stinking up Amanda's room, because it's right off her room too. So then they moved him down in the basement. And that, because there's a back room, like, if you turn, Laugh down there. There's a room right there, and then he just got tired of it going. Like I don't know what changed about him being down there. And then they put him back in that back room and off the dining room area. And then they put him back in that um, room off the bathroom. And then, then they put him upstairs. But that's when I, they talked to me about moving back down and downstairs in that room because we cleaned it up and everything, painted it and stuff like that. And then he went upstairs. Okay. So, um, and he was in the bigger part or whatever that's leaking now for yeah. a little while. Yeah. Yep. And then he jumped out the window. Yeah. Is that the point that he was moved that they put the door up? Yeah. Okay. Um, so let me. He was he in school when you first came. Yeah. Okay. So he was going to school. Yeah. 
How long um, from the time you were here did he stop going to school? He, let me see. I think um, he didn't go to school this year and then last year. So about these last two years, you know. Okay. Um, and so has he been in the attic most of the time since he stopped going to school? Yeah. Okay. Um, when did the abuse happen before he got pulled out of school? No. He was doing it while he was in school, but he just spanked him with an open hand at first. Like, he just kept on just spanking him at first. Like a lot? Or? Yeah. But, I mean, he is a good father. He won't intentionally do it, but he's, but Dakota was just so out of control, he just couldn't do much to, they want, needed help for him and everything. They just never really got any help from him. So this excessive abuse, though, where he's been up in the attic and he's been hit with things and punched and kicked and stood on, when did this start? I would have to say about when he got pulled out of school. Okay, so maybe last year, a couple yeah, years ago? Yeah, A couple years ago, whenever he was done with school. Yeah. Were you there when Khalil was there at all? Yeah. What, what was the story with him? I honestly, I don't really remember much. <laughs> I remember. Did Al hit him at all? Because he's a little bit older. I don't think so. Okay. Um, so, he's been staying kind of up in the attic. And, and I just want to, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I want to make sure that we've got this right. So, he stopped going to school 2017? If I remember correctly, somewhere around there, yeah. Okay. And that's when he was pretty much put up in the attic. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. So. Okay. And then, um, was he locked up there at that point? Not at first, but after he jumped out the window, his when everything, he had to get locked up there for his safety and everybody else's. Okay. Well, why would he jump out the window? Like, was that door to the other area shut? No, the door wasn't up there yet. Okay, but was the downstairs door, because there's a lock on that door too, was that one locked? Where it's like he... At the time, yes, because we was all sleeping. Okay. He did it early in the morning. And he came knocking on the doors, I guess. I was sleeping or whatever, and Amanda came and woke me up freaking out because there was blood everywhere and he just said that there, he had a bad dream about zombies and everything and he was saving himself and he jumped out a window about this big right so and he was saving himself yeah right? okay um so he comes home from the hospital like maybe a day or two after that incident um i know that from medical records so he came home like it might have even been the next day. Um, what happened then? Did he go back up to the attic when he came home? No, they because he had a cast on his legs, so they moved him to that one off the room, off the dining rooms, because he couldn't walk uh, down the stairs with the cast on. Okay, and so how long you, do you think he was there? I'd have to say probably. couple weeks at the top, maybe a month. So did he stay back in that room all the time? Did he just stay back there? Did he eat back there? Yeah. He just stayed in that room? Yeah. Okay. Um, did Al spank him or hit him during that time? Not that I remember. Okay. So at some point, though, how long? So he gets the cast off, I'm guessing, at some point, right? Yeah. Did he go back and get it off? I don't really, I don't think so. I don't remember if he did or not. I think they took it off themselves. Okay. And so after his cast got off, is that when he went upstairs again? Yeah. Okay. Um, at what point? 
Because he doesn't have any clothes. He doesn't have any clothes that are his size. Obviously, he soiled them all at different times. Yeah. Um, how long has he been up there basically naked? What did you say? Probably a long time. Mainly the whole time. So every time we give him, even I gave him a pair of shorts to cover himself up, and we gave him diapers and everything, but he just kept on soiling himself. So most of the time he's been up there. So possibly yeah, since like 2018, because that's when he got injured. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And he's been up there pretty much with no clothes since he healed from that injury? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Um, as far as the abuse part, and I know you didn't see it all because you were downstairs, um, when did Al, in comparison to the time he started staying up there, locked up there with, obviously, naked, um, how long until Al started really beating on him, punching him, hitting him with stuff? I would have to say probably a few months ago or so, around a few months ago. So the excessive abuse started a few months ago? I would have to say so, somewhere around there, yeah. Did he punch him before that? No, he just used his open hand at first. Okay. You mentioned that he used a taser on him. How long ago was that? He only used it once. Like, that you know of? Yeah, that I know of. How long ago was that? Probably weeks ago, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about the hot sauce issue? Well, he. Every time he came down wet, he would just pour it on him. That's all I know is that he would go all crazy on a porn on him when he's on the stairs, upstairs, he'd go upstairs and just, yeah. Put the hot sauce on him, mm -hmm. make it burn, and that's what he said, to make it burn. Yeah. Um, so, how many times do you think he did that? I mean, you were saying a lot, and this was daily, right? Yeah. He used it almost daily on him? For like, maybe in the last week or so, yeah. Okay, but he did it before that, just it was more consistent over the last week? Yeah. Okay. Wasn't, I'm not trying to it wasn't the, the first time he actually did the hot sauce and the spray, like he used for cologne to spray him too. So it wasn't the first time he did that. On his butt? Or yeah, just okay. okay. everywhere. Okay. Um, I want to go to the day of this incident. And I know this is super upsetting, okay? In, in, in some regards, this obviously isn't something you're opening talking about with people, so maybe it'll help you to say it again, okay? Mm -hmm. I know that's hard to say, but um, we just have to make sure we have the details of that day. All right, yeah. Okay, um, so you're awake, and he's stumbling, running into walls, is yeah. my understanding. Yeah. Tell me from there, kind of. Well, well, I want to just start from the beginning of the day. That's fine. Okay. So, so okay, so I wake up about quarter to seven every day because I have to get the boys for five and ready because they want me to get Dakota fed, use the bathroom before Josiah wakes up because he, cause he's naked and he stinks and everything. Josiah doesn't need to see that. So I get all that, get his food ready and call him down. I call him like maybe ten times. He wouldn't come down. And then finally I... Said, just forget it, you can just stay up there, just do whatever. And then he said, I'm coming. Took him a while, but so I just stood there with the door open, waiting for him to come down. And I seen him, he was holding the walls like this, trying to walk, and he was fall stumbling and stuff like that. So and then when he came down, I opened the door a little wider so he can come through. He rubbed up against that corner between the hallway corner. I told him, he does stop rubbing on things. I just, like I said, I thought he was going on show like he always does. And so, then he fell towards Josiah's door, 
I stumbled and then to the bathroom door. He stumbled across that and then when he got in the bathroom, he fell forward in the bathtub. I, he, he just, I don't know how to explain it, but he just held himself like, oh, like, you know, when you throw up or something, you, yeah, that's how he held himself. And then I told him, he's got to stop, otherwise he's going to wake up his dad. And then, <coughs> and then, um, finally he was pulling down his shorts or whatever, so to the bathroom, and I told him uh, to get off, the, like, because he couldn't touch the toilet, and his clothes couldn't touch it or anything, because he... He had clothes on? Yeah, he wears shorts sometimes. And then he had to hold the toilet to hold himself up. And then when he was going to the bathroom, Al came out the his bedroom. And this was probably about 7.30 or something, or a little after. And then, or a little before, and then he, when Al came out, he elbowed him in the back, and then he fell forward. Dakota fell forward, and that's when I just walked away because I knew it was just going to go bad from there. And then, and that's really all I seen. But then he went upstairs, and then I only seen a few bits of it. So because I was reading and watching Joe just by this time. But the parts that I did see was that he made Dakota lay on his stomach, hands, I don't know if his hands were behind his head or his back, but I know he stood on him with all his weight holding the ceiling like this. He was standing on him. Yeah. Okay. And that's basically the rest of I've seen. Because I just didn't want to see what was happening after that. Right. Well, at some point, you said he brought him down and put him in the bathroom. Yeah. And then, and then you know, after that, he told him, because he was washing his shorts at the time, because he ran some water. And then he told him to scrub, otherwise he was going to drown him, I guess. And then shortly after he said that, I heard splashing, and like he gasped for air. You could hear him gasping for air. Yeah. And then he took him back upstairs. All right, How long do you think that was going on where he's like splashing and gasping for air? Maybe like, he only did it for like two seconds. He put him under and just lifted him back up and sent him upstairs. Okay. But it was enough where you could hear him gasping. Yeah. Just to dance around, move around, so I just thought he was just doing that just to make me mad so I can tell Al that he was just not ever listening to me because whatever he never listens to me that's why I just gave up talking to him at the most part. He's dancing around why is that bad? I don't know I was just always told that if he's doing stuff that he's not supposed to we just tell him and because he's touching stuff is that why? Well I'm going to get up and show you stuff that Dakota's supposed to do. So he's supposed to stand like this, with his sometimes hands behind his head, sometimes behind his back. So if he goes like this, or like just uncrosses him, that freaks out. And then he's, I don't know if this is going to be weird, but he's, I don't know, another thing, he's supposed to go like this, and he's supposed to bend over. I don't know like this, and then have his hands spread out like that. So, yeah, and if he's not doing that, I have to tell Al. And that's like, all the time while he's up there, so he's not touching anything? Yeah. So for, like, hours, he's supposed to be doing so that? until 7 in the morning, till about sometimes 3, 4 in the morning. It's almost 24 hours. Well, 20 hours. Essentially. That he's just supposed to stand there either with his legs crossed and over. Yeah. What's the point of that? I guess that was supposed to make him start listening to things or said that he's stopped going to the bathroom on himself. I don't know. How long has he been doing that or he's doing that for hours at a time? I can't even remember when he started. 
I mean, like a year or <laughs> months? Probably longer than a year. I don't know. I don't remember. That he's been supposed to stay like that? How's he supposed to sleep if he's doing that? He goes to bed on our, right, at least recently he started going to bed at 8 o'clock, but before that I was always told to have him up until Amanda gets home, which is around 11, but, and then if I tell him to go to bed, I'll sometimes freak out, and he's supposed to, and that's when he started going, rolling in on him again. If, like, when you say he was supposed to stay up, so you watched him on the camera to make sure he's awake and not laying down, or? Yeah, he got he lays down right around his cot. But he's not allowed to go to sleep until she got home. Is that accurate? Or yeah. How do you know if he's asleep or not? If he's well, if he. Well, he's not supposed to lay down until Manny gets home. Is I'm rewarding him? Sorry, it's just mis- or, you're okay. No, you're fine. So he's yeah. supposed to be up doing those. Yeah, until Amanda gets home. With his legs crossed. Yeah, and sometimes Amanda tells him to go to bed, and then when Al gets ever gets home, he tells her to get back up and stuff. So maybe he lays down for like two, three hours. And I he guess. tells him to get up again. Yeah, and, and then, then he has to do that standing there again. Yeah, and until then he tells him. Yeah, and then I get him back up about seven o'clock every day. So how does he eat and stuff? Is he allowed to get out of that position to eat? Just to come down and get his food and then goes back up and does it again while he eats. Does he come down? I thought you said the other day you brought it up. No, I, t- I said that he comes down to the bottom of the stairs so that's the one to go to the bathroom and then he goes back up and eats up there. Yeah. Okay. So who goes and gets the dish? Does he bring that down? Yeah, he brings it all down and puts it at the bottom of the stairs. Okay. Had he eaten anything the day before that you could tell? The day before this all happened? Well, or even that day. Did he eat that day? That yeah. Day? He had, I gave him two bagels of peanut butter on it for breakfast. But did he actually eat them that you know of? Uh, Should have. I, I know. I thought I'd seen him eating it, but... Okay. Okay. That's fair enough. Um... It sounds like Amanda's kind of the breadwinner at home, right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, is she aware of the level that the abuse had reached? No. She's always, I guess, she slept through it the night before this all happened because she was just so exhausted from work. She's been sick and everything. And then that morning it happened, she slept through it again because, you know. Okay, so what happened the night before? I don't know. I went to bed early. But you know something happened? I heard a little bit of him screaming, but I didn't go out. Oh, did you scream in Dakota? Dakota screaming like he yeah. was in pain? Yeah, huh? but I just figured it was another one of those days that he just didn't listen or he just came home drunk and just started railing on him. Had Al been up for an extended period of time or was he, I mean, I think you said he, that Dakota woke him up. Is that... Yeah. Yeah, to could have woke him up yeah. by walking into the walls. Unless I woke him up by hollering at him for walking into the I have another question. question. You said um, when Dakota came down the steps, he was kind of like walking into walls and stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, you said you thought he was putting on a show. Was it normal for him to be unsteady like that? Or off balance or falling over? Yeah. That was normal? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he always just falls over. You know, when he's laying in bed, he just falls out of bed and stuff, so he just likes putting on shows. He just likes getting into trouble is what he always said. Who always said? Dakota. He always been like that ever since, I don't know how long, but he always said he just likes getting into trouble. Is this your way of thinking where he was acting up, or is this what Al says, like he keeps acting up? Like, where are you getting that that's acting out for him? That's what Dakota always says. That, Dakota would say what? I'm sorry. That he likes just, he does it just to get his beatings, and he just, I guess he always, I don't know, he just always said that he... When did he say that? I always ask him why he does it, and he always says, because I like getting my beatings, I just, stuff like, like that. Is that him say that? Yeah, he always said that, or when I'll ask him. Is that stuff Al told him to say? Did you ever hear Al tell him? 
It seems odd to me because, as far as I know, he didn't wear clothes the majority of the time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Why did he have shorts on that morning? Well, he always had a pair of shorts, but he <sighs> uh, makes him wear it on top of his head because he is always wet and everything. So it just, yeah, full of pee and poop. So I feel like that's on top of his head. He puts them on his head, and then he'll come. He puts them on before he comes down. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but he's up there naked with the pants on his head. Yeah. Okay. What are those pants? What do they look like? I think maybe normal like. thing. Are they shorts or are they pants? Yeah, they're shorts. They're just. Do you have any idea what color? I think, like dark blue, maybe black. Okay. I think he had tan pants on. Did you see him get him dressed before the police came? No. I was in the car. Okay. I have a question. When, when they brought him down before you and Amanda left, where was he when you left? He was in the bathroom. Because I, was as soon as they both get up in the morning, so I go back to my room because I get up early and just take a short nap. But I, Amanda came back there freaking out, saying stuff like, I don't know what she was all saying, but she was like, she said that we got to go, and that's about it. She was in tears and stuff, and I didn't even have a chance to put for him shoes or a sweater on. I, <laughs> I just got out the house and stuff, so I didn't know what the heck was going on. But he was in the bathtub? Yeah. How do you know he was in the bathtub? Just by passing by? Yeah. Door was open, light was on. I seen Al hovering over the bathtub. And could you see Dakota? No. You just saw Al over the bathtub? Yeah, which I kind of figured. Uh, something. Like, Amanda told me that he was in the bathtub. Like, she was trying to push on his chest, I guess, trying to get him to breathe, because I guess he wasn't even breathing in the bathtub. So. So you didn't see him at that point? Though. No, just I just earlier. walked straight out the house, grabbed Joe, and walked out. I think when we talked earlier, after you heard him in the bathroom and you thought he was drowning, um, you said something about Al kind of took him and threw him around. Do you remember that? Yeah, he did that all upstairs. So mm -hmm. he took him out of the bathtub, and Dakota, did he drag Dakota up? Or no, Dakota walked up there. He walked? Yeah. Okay. Was he stumbling or yeah. walking with help or just by himself? I probably not. I think he was just stumbling by himself. And then I was walking up behind him, and that's when it all door shut. And that's last I seen of it for like 30 seconds, so I go up the stairs. Then he made him lay on the bed, and then he got him back up again, and he took him over by those windows, those border windows. And then he was tossing him around on the floor. What kind of things could you hear from downstairs? Because I know... He didn't, they, nobody even said anything. He just... I wasn't yelling at him. No. Or, mm -mm. Well, could you hear the thuds? Could you hear things keep being thrown around? I mean, like... All I heard was Al's feet. Because he just, that's what I saw I heard. Could you hear the hits? Could you hear, like, I mean, would he, could you hear, like, that kind of sound? Like that? When you're upstairs, you can't really hear, like, smacking sounds. It's just... Did you see him kick him? <sighs> Not when he was upstairs. No, I just seen him stomping on him, or stepping on him, I should say. That's the only thing I've seen. So after he takes him over by the window and throws him around on the floor, um, what was he thrown around on the floor, like just flinging him? I mean, how was he? Just like, here. just like grabbing him like this and sliding him around the floor, I guess I should say. Like dragging him around? Yeah. And then he, um, put, did he get back in bed then at that point? I'm trying to figure out when he stands on him. That was right away as soon as he got. Oh, I don't remember. 
sorry. It's fine. I'm just not kind of. Okay, so. I think it was shortly before the first time I put him in the bed. He stood on him. On the floor? Yeah. Oh, okay. He was on the floor. Yeah. And then he, but you said he had his hands up on the ceiling? Yeah. Okay. And he was on his back? Is that where he was standing on him? On the back, yeah. He was standing on his back. Okay. So then after he gets off of him, did you see him get off of him too? Yeah. And then what did he do? I think he put him back in the bed, but like I said, after I see him standing on him, I went back to my book. Was, yeah. And then when you look back at it, though, he was in bed? Yeah. Okay. Is that when you saw Al standing beside him? Yeah, because he was pouring that hot sauce on him. Oh, he, he did that too? Yeah. That day? Yeah. Okay. And you could tell because he had a bottle? Yeah. Was he pour, where was he pouring it at that point? Could you tell? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so after he pours the hot sauce on him, what then? And then he came back down. And he went back to bed. Like it never even happened. And then? About, I'll say about 12, 30, 1 o'clock, they both woke up and that's, I guess, when she, I don't know, as soon as, I said, as, soon as they can look up, I went back to bed, so I don't know what happened. So where was Joe? Where was Josiah then? Um, he was in the living room. Okay, so he's just watching TV or something? Yeah. Okay. Has he ever spanked Josiah that you've seen? No, I'm the only one who actually spanked Josiah, because he likes to throw his toys and stuff like that. We're trying to teach him not to throw things, so and I, I'm the only one there, so I have to kind of discipline Josiah. So I tell him, I spank him and tell him no, and then I put him in his room and shut the light off and shut the door for like 30 seconds. And then when I do, open the door and turn the light back on, he's just sitting on his bed playing with his toys. And then I tell him to come out and then goes back to playing with his toys. So I'm going to get back to the house too. You guys went up and cleaned it up after you left here? Yeah. Okay. Um, is the metal spatula still there? Do you know? I think we threw everything out. Threw anything that was mentioned? Yeah. Okay. What about the taser? i never seen that one. Never seen it since. Okay. But specifically, you know the spatula was thrown out? Yes, I threw it out. You did? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, into the trash along with the tarp yes. and the cot? Yes. And did you guys completely clean out that attic area? Yes. Okay. Was there clothing up there? There was some in the... There was small closets up there. It was just the bag was buried. There was clothes up there. I seen it when I was cleaning up the closet. There was some a small bag up there. I had a few things on there. A few things? Yeah, and then in the basement there was a bag of clothes, shoes, and socks, a bag. Um, Ironically enough, there's a lot of dog poop and pee down in the basement. Yeah, I haven't went down there and cleaned it up. I well, guess. it's just weird to me that Al's so angry about um, Dakota peeing and pooping that the dogs are okay to do that? I never understood that either. So it's been like that for a while? Yeah. He just blames all that on Dakota instead of the smell of maybe dog urine or feces? He does blame it on the dogs sometimes. Does he ever hit the dogs? No. Just, just Dakota? Yeah. Okay. Did you say the trash goes today? Yeah. When does it typically go? Gary's on the day. So you don't, you heard screaming the night before, but you don't know what happened. Because you, I think you said that you sleep. 
certain way or something. Yeah. Does he very, I'm sorry, does he very often make noise like that? Like scream or anything? Yeah, he always screams when he's, yeah. When he's getting hit? Oh, uh, his dog's in the charge. Okay, so it's not uncommon for him to scream if he's in pain or... Mm -hmm. But he didn't do that after Al brought him up that day? He didn't make any noise? Mm -hmm. Um... And you don't, you didn't see or hear anything that you can remember from the night before? No. One more thing real quick while we are here. There was a um, laundry basket across from the bathroom that had the stool thing in it. Was that there that morning? Like the leg of the stool? Not that I know of. You didn't notice there being a leg in there? Mm -mm. Okay. What about the shorts that he had on that morning? Where were they? I don't know. Did you make him wash them that morning? That's what he was supposed to be in the bathtub for, is to wash up and wash his shorts that morning. So he was in... I thought Al put him in the bathtub. Yeah, the after, first time. After he came into the bathroom, Al put him in the bathtub? Yeah. Okay, and he was supposed to be in there washing himself and washing the shorts? Yeah. Okay. Then where did the shorts end up, do you know? That I don't know. I haven't seen him that morning. Did you guys find Al's phone? No. Mm -hmm. Didn't even know it was missing. Okay. Um, okay. Real quick, he's washing his shorts, and then that's when you hear Al saying, if you don't scrub them, I'm going to drown you. Yeah. And then you hear splashing and then him gasping for air, right? Yeah. That's the first time when he's down there? Yeah. Okay, and he was in the bathtub at that point? Yeah. Okay, he was all the way in the bathtub. Yeah. Okay, I had a picture in my mind that he was, like, leaning over the bathtub, but he was in the bathtub. Okay. Do you know? I mean, did you see him in the bathtub that first time, or is that just what you... Yeah, because I had to go get Josiah some water. So you just got done eating. So you physically saw him all the way in the bathtub? Yeah. Okay. And then heard him splashing and gasping. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Jenny. Thank you. I know this is hard, but we appreciate it. It helps us with our investigation. Thanks for coming in.